Just tell me the name. What name? What are you talking about? Is it blackmail? Get out of here! Oh, listen, You're hey, mad! Listen. I have a wife and two kids, and I want to know what's behind all this. First of all, there is the possibility, though ever unlikely, that there is an actual double dog in your footsteps. Could there be another explanation? There could. Is all this true? All these times I've been coming here... You don't remember? If you want other women, you can have them. Eve, I don't want other women. Well, you certainly don't want me. How many times do I have to tell you I've never seen her? Who is it? Your name may be Pelham, but I am Harold Pelham of Freeman, Pelham and Dawson. I'm Pelham. I am! Then we're left with only one alternative. Pell's guilty. <laughs> you're funny. You're never the same man twice. Oh, no, Mr. Pellum, you're always the same. You and I have been friends and colleagues for more years than I care to remember. But I don't recognize the man sitting there. Are you suggesting that Pell's been playing a double game? Then you think I'm mad. You could be suffering from this sort of psychosis. Oh, God, you frightened me. Go play your sick jokes on someone else! Drowning. Who is he? Where is he? I want to see him! Dinosaurs ruled the earth. This is the time, the very beginning, before man was master. When the moon wrenched a place for itself in the heavens. This is the time when men lived in fear and the color of a woman's hair decided who should be sacrificed. Victoria Betry, who could tame any man. Who could even train man's deadliest enemy? Necro! This is the time of unimaginable dangers. Danger from above, danger from below, danger from every living thing in this primitive world.
our films, creators of One Million Years B.C., comes a new beast meet on equal terms. <laughs> and pagan superstition magnifies fear of the unknown, a world of savage combat, <laughs> where women are spoils to the victor. These are the creatures the world forgot. Starring the Norwegian beauty, Julie Edge. International talent search winner, the sensational new star discovery of the 70s. The captive maiden and her new master. Their love defies tribal taboos. Pitting brother against brother in a link of death, only one can survive. <laughs> Creatures the world forgot. See their primitive mating rites, the ordeal of the virgins, the ritual dance of fire, the duel of flaming torch against naked blade. <laughs> The attack of the dreaded mud men, devil gods of the primeval jungle. Survival is the only law for creatures the world forgot. Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise, a gothic horror story. What was that? A beautiful love story. A cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter. And beyond. The story of a sound. The man who created it. The girl who sang it. The monster who stole it. And the phantom who haunts the paradise. The ultimate rock palace. Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. Only she can sing it. Anyone else that tries, dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. Well, you told me one time that you'd be somebody, that you weren't working just to survive. B. Cause no! Whoa, whoa, ow! Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that do. I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom. 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 Must have been a little after three o'clock in the afternoon that it began, the afternoon of June 3rd, 1916. Fire one, fire two. <laughs> this could have been the end. The end of just another tragic episode in war at sea. But for the few survivors of a torpedoed merchant ship and the crew of a German U-boat lost in the frozen South Atlantic, it was the beginning of an incredible adventure. For this was the day the 20th century met the primeval world face to face. American International presents The Land That Time Forgot. An astounding motion picture based on the book by Edgar Rice Burroughs, creator of Tarzan, 
and the most thrilling science fiction stories ever written. Travel through an underwater passage and discover an awesome prehistoric world. Fight for your life against the terrifying creatures of a lost continent. Come face to face with primitive man and learn the secret of evolution. The land that time forgot. Mr. Tyler! Starring Doug McClure. There's a secret to this island. Something that we haven't been able to fathom yet. And whether we stay or get away may depend on it. It's action. Danger. An adventure on an epic scale. How much longer do we give them? We're not leaving without them! Forget Skipper! What's going on? You will never forget Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Land That Time Forgot. It was the scientific marvel of the century. A mighty juggernaut to blast through the solid rock of the Earth's mantle at a rate of 78 feet per minute. 4,000 miles into the heart of our planet. We've been on top of the Earth long enough. It's about time we found out what's underneath. Who shot it? Listeners activating now. Steady the throttles. Ready? Confounded contention. Grand scale adventure from the world's favorite writer of fascinating fiction, Edgar Rice Burroughs at the Earth's core, the astounding discovery of a strange forbidding land. I've only seen it before in fossilized form. A primeval nightmare world whose shadows hid the nameless terrors that were yet to come. <laughs> Humans of another age, chained in bondage by an army of ape men, preyed upon by monstrous giants. the sly one will lead you will the ugly one back here i heard about him david he will kill you <laughs> Behind a barrier of molten lava, an empire of evil, an inferno ruled by winged creatures like guardians of the gates of hell, a host of Satan's, nourished by the flesh of sacrificial maidens. Starring Doug McClure, Peter Cushing, Caroline Monroe. Take the most terrifying journey of your life. Edgar Rice Burroughs at the Earth's core.
get out of here. We've been using a manned laser drill. This is a model of one here. Polar bar. Polar bar five on a routine mission disappeared off the monitor. There were five men on that expedition. There was one survivor. The uh, heat outside was terrific but in the distance we could see ice cliffs. Then I noticed something moving above the trees in the haze, an enormous animal. I shouted and I waved, but they didn't see it until it was too late and then they were gone. They were eaten. By what, Mr. Thrust? As far as we know, was Tyrannosaurus rex, the largest carnivore that ever lived. The king of the dinosaurs. to all of us that we were not going to harm the dinosaur. We were only supposed to take film and study it. This animal, this eight-ton animal, is a carnivore. It eats meat. Us. First, we get the dinosaur. Then we talk about leaving. They have found what they came for. That incredible lost world shut off by a towering wall of ice from which had come strange tales of wonder. Edgar Rice Burroughs, master of astounding adventure, takes us back to the fantastic island of Caprona, where time has stood still for millions of years. Where men and beasts fight a fierce battle for survival in a land of savage mystery. See the forbidden city of Skulls, where they sacrifice prisoners to the volcano god. Stop him with rocks? No dice, Bo. I didn't come all this way to leave you behind. You make it away from the Nagas, but we'll never get home. The land will stop you, then. It's a lie.
This modern hospital may seem worlds apart from the days of ancient sorcerers. But for psychiatrist Stephen Strange and his beautiful patient, this is where those worlds collide. And the nightmare begins. We're here interviewing the founder of the Lafay Method, a woman who in the last few days seems to have taken at least a part of New York City by storm, so to speak. Here to tell us more about it is the force behind the Lafay Method, Morgan Lafay. Ms. Lafay, can you tell us just what it is exactly that the method does? Quite simply, it unlocks the hidden potential within you. It's a way of realizing your own powers and using them to get what you really want out of life. There was an old man who pushed him over a railing in front of a car. Nothing Stephen Strange learned in medical school could prepare him for an attack by an evil sorceress from the fourth dimension. A villainess who can only be stopped by an earthly master of the mystic arts. Come in. Thank you. You're telling me you're a sorcerer. I came here to try to help a patient of mine. Come and take him into our domain. Now it's up to Stephen Strange to take the place of the Earth's last sorcerer. Have I become the sorcerer? You should learn whose powers to respect. Come along for a fantastic adventure into the fourth dimension with Doctor Strange. Mr. Pendleton, you know where you are, don't you? I want you to look at me and listen very carefully to what I'm saying. Yeah? This is not a dream. Are you trying to tell me? I'm not supposed to be here. But you are here. Well, you guys made a mistake. There is no mistake. Well, anybody can make a mistake. I want to check out on Joseph Pendleton. When is he due to arrive? Pendleton Joseph, due to arrive 10.17 a.m., March 20th of the year 2025. Hey, so he jumped the gun. Anybody could have done that. Just put me back where you found me. Joe, we can put you into another man's body. Are you kidding? You're going to put me into the body of another man? Hey. That's me. Inwardly, you haven't changed. You're still Joe Pendleton. That's what you and I see. But outwardly, you're Leo Farnsworth, and that's what everyone else will see. Mr. Farnsworth. That works. Of course. What in God's name's that? Max, I'm not Farnsworth. I'm Joe Pendleton. Farnsworth was murdered by his wife and his private secretary. This is just a body they found for me. Don't you understand? They drugged him, they stuck him in a bathtub, and then I stepped in. Darling, listen to me. Yes. There is nothing to be frightened I'm of. Not There's plenty to be worried about, but there is nothing to be frightened <laughs> of. <laughs> I'm not really Leo Farnsworth. <laughs> what? You want to know the only thing I'm afraid of? How I'd feel if I couldn't be with you. Then there's nothing to be afraid of, is there? I'm sorry, Mr. Pendleton. I'm afraid you won't be able to use Mr. Farnsworth's body any longer. How can you expect me to give up Farnsworth now? You yourself asked for a temporary arrangement. She loves me, Mr. Jordan. Why are you looking at me like that? Just memorizing your face. I want to memorize everything about you, so no matter what happens, I won't forget you. But what's going to happen? Warren Beatty. Julie Christie, James Mason, Charles Grodin, Diane Cannon, Buck Henry, Vincent Gardenia, Jack Warden. Heaven can wait. In the dawn of time, a strange traveler came from outer space and plunged beneath the sea. Through the centuries, countless ships have disappeared without trace in the Bermuda Triangle. Yet there are men who still dare to probe the mysteries of these dangerous waters.
The discovery of a fantastic hidden metropolis under the ocean leads to spectacular action and thrilling adventure in Warlords of Atlantis. Where are you taking us? To safety. To safety. Starring Doug McClure, Peter Gilmore, with guest stars Sid Charisse and Daniel Massey. We'll not find it on any map, but you know its name. Atlantis. They defy an underwater world of tyranny and terror. From our dying planet, we journeyed across space. We brought our cities, our power and ambition. We are a master race. Can you help us get out of here? We're damned, mister. There's no escape. Let your mind join with us in the greatness of our quest. Serving the power of Atlantis. The power of Atlantis. Atlantis. Doug McClure and Peter Gilmore join forces to survive a living hell below. Monster terror above. Monster terror above.